Hello everyone and welcome to Wilson Waffling Live episode, what episode is it? Anybody remember? 85, episode 85, that's pretty good going isn't it? I've had 85 of these. I think I think that's pretty good going. Um, you're watching Wilson Waffling Live. Um, tonight's show is, as usual, all about teaching and twaddle. Um, me talking about teaching and doing a lot of twaddling or just talking. So remember that you can you can see me on both um, Periscope if you're watching on Twitter. Hello, people from Periscope, and also I am on Wilson Waffling facebook page live doing this live at the present moment in time and remember we can actually go across live we can actually go across live to the actual comments on um on the page here we go here comes the comments So if you are not aware what the website roundup is, I, this is where I put together a series of snippets from um, web page um, articles that I've seen throughout the week. And I put them all and I put some jazzy background new music to it for you to enjoy. And as always, I'd like to remind you that after the show, the um, links to all these stories will be available down below underneath this video and also remember remember you can always go along to i wilson ysj on youtube i'll just search for wilson waffling and you can find all this show and all the old shows all 84 of them all there ready for you to enjoy and you know you know just sit back and look at watch me talk for a long long time so without further ado Let's get straight into the wonderful Website Roundup. Enjoy.
yes, so... <laughs> <laughs> my technical wizardry is absolutely unbelievable. Oh, do you know, I, I must admit, I, I got, I was preoccupied because I come dashing home from work and straight to this. And I, I must admit, it's not as slick as it usually is. So I do apologise. And it's rather short as well. And I forgot press record at the beginning. And people keep coming in then just walking away. So th thank you if you're sticking with me. I know it's not the most exciting show. I really need to do a little bit better to pull in the audience. Uh, I don't know. When I'm streaming on Twitch, I get slightly more audience on Twitch. Uh, I don't I don't know why it is. I, I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm playing a game there and not sort of like um, just talking to myself which I, I probably I probably need to organize some guests that would be f cool wouldn't it if I had some guests on uh, that would get I would get really excited with that anyway if you would like to follow me on Twitter then my Twitter is just down there it's at iwilsonysj or you can follow the hashtag for YSJ primary ed um, Prime Ed, which is the hashtag that shares everything that we are doing at YSJ um, in the primary education course. So by all means, follow it, tweet to it if you wish, and let us know what you think about what we're doing and how you're enjoying it. So, OK, then we're, we're let, let's nip across. Let's nip across to um, Facebook Live. Let's go across to Facebook Live and see the masses of people. Here we go across to Facebook Live. That'll go away. Here I go. Oh, dear. We're not doing very well on the Facebook Live. There's no comments at all. If you are watching or you would like to press that like button, then, then feel free to do so. I think my camera's moved slightly because you can see half my rubbish over there as well. Just, just imagine that that's not there. Yeah, so I don't think we've got many people watching at all at the moment. So, but if you are watching, then that's lovely because I am going to share with you. I'm going to share with you some teaching ideas. I'm going to share with you some tea. I'm just putting you over onto the other monitor so I can pick up my teaching ideas. So, teaching ideas. I thought, what could I what could I talk about today for teaching ideas? And remember, if you have any ideas, um, topics that you would like some teaching ideas on, then by all means, why don't you just tweet me um, at, uh, at iwilsonysj and I can respond to you and I can give you some ideas on this show. So today, the teaching ideas, I, what I thought I would go for is that I would go for leaves. Now, leaves as in not tea leaves or things like that. I was thinking more leaves on trees and, and I think this is often reserved for autumn but I thought you know why don't we do it the whole year round and there's lots of things to do in autumn I know it's winter at the moment and there's probably no leaves out there but but you could probably go away and find some evergreens and things like that so there could be some leaves around but spring's just around the corner I do believe not my favorite time of the year but you know it's coming along so by all means go out and do it so what can we do right Art. Let's start off with art. So there's lots of fun creating leaves. And for example, you can cut them out of coloured backgrounds, you know, so to get a whole load of different greens. And then one thing that I always used to like doing was getting some white piece of paper and straws and then blowing the paint um, out for the veins and then drawing round it with a sharpie pen or something like that. Can you see what I mean? So you, you get the, the veins and then you draw the leaf round. So that's a lovely idea. And you can actually do them all different colour veins as well to give them a bit of um, depth and things like that. Um, you could also, you could also um, go outside and collect the leaves and then have a look at all the different um, sorts and uh, almost like make a collage. Or something that I really love doing is going outside and finding a leaf and then sticking it down onto a piece of paper and making a character out of it. So you can sort of like have the leaf and then give it with a black pen. You can give it two eyes and two little legs and make up a sort of like a picture, a cartoon picture full of leaves. Now, while we're moving away from art and talking about mathematics for a while, leaves, of course, have that wonderful... Um, uh, quality of having irregular areas and I thought you could do a whole load of work about drawing round the leaf onto square paper and then counting the squares and remember half or more squares you actually count anything less than half 
you don't count. And as long as you've got centimeter squares, then you can find the area. So really good to be doing um, different areas of irregular shapes. And you can also expand that by saying, you know, this is an area and give it a block and say, can you find a, a leaf that has a bigger area than that or a smaller area than that? So to get some comparisons and then moving on to a um, science, you can do the of course, the classification of leaves and sorting the leaves, you know, which leaves would you put together, which leaves wouldn't and trying to move away just from color you know, looking at shape as well. Or then you can do the strongest leaf. Now, this is really good because you can actually attach it to a washing line and then suspend weights on it by a peg. If you put a peg on it, and you know those wooden pegs with the little circles through, you can hook things on there, thread some string around it, and then drop the weights onto the, um, onto the actual um, piece of string. And then that'll test how much uh, how strong the leaves are, how, how many weights can they actually take until, until they, they fall down. You could also then have a competition of choosing, choosing the slowest leaf. So actually having a whole load of leaves and then trying to predict and estimate which one you think will fall the slowest not the quickest, the slowest, and then that will lead you into air resistance and things like that. You could do a similar thing with seed dispersals, dispersal, but it's quite fun with leaves. Do the biggest one always fall the slowest because that's what you would expect because they have greater air resistance. So that's a nice sort of like um, investigation to do so forth. Um, you could also then um, extend that to sort of like making your own leaf and see whether or not you can make it stay up longer than the other leaves. You know, what paper would you use? What shape would you use, etc. Of course, within the science, we can look at the purpose of leaves as long as we don't actually go too deep into, you know, writing out the equation. We don't want you writing out the equation for photosynthesis or anything like that. But what do leaves actually do? You know, what's unusual? And there's some wonderful videos on YouTube when you can see the leaf unfurling and things like that. And then, of course, the a bit of literacy, if you want to do some literacy about leaves, you can write some poem about leaves. And rather than I, I was going to suggest um, sort of like um, talking about it falling and things like that. But I think everybody talks about it falling. And I wondered about creating the story of a poem about the life of the leaf. Uh, you know, sort of like, and it could, or a story of the leaf about what, the way it's small and it bursts out and it soaks up the sun and then it slowly turns a different colour, then falls off the tree and slowly dies and decomposes. So it's almost like the life cycle of a leaf. And I thought you could either write it as a poem or you could write it as a narrative, almost in a story. And of course, there's other things that could happen to the leaf. It could fall off. It could get picked and eaten. It could blow off and be never seen again. So there's lots of different ideas that you could do with, with leaves. So I hope, I hope that has given you some good ideas about leaves and how to actually use them. If you have any ideas about leaves, then by all means, just enter in the comments below here on Facebook. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, then by all means, pop it on YouTube as well. And also, please do remember that if there's any topic that you would like some ideas about, then by all means, just send me a message on Twitter and you can find my Twitter by going along to, it's just coming up, here it is, oh no, wrong way, this down there, um, it is at IWilsonYSJ or you can follow the hashtag YSJ Prime Ed. Right, now because there's no tweets of the week this week, so I do apologise, but that's the, the end of this quick show. Um, I'm going to try to bring back the soda activity because I think that um, start of day activity or start of show activity, like I like to call it, because I think that gives you some more teaching um, ideas. And then so we'll have start of show activity, um, tweets of the week when we get more tweets in, and then we'll have some website roundup and then teaching ideas as well. So if there's anything I can help you with, then by all means, 
do let me know. So remember, you can find me on Twitter at iWilsonWiseJ. And don't forget to go along to the YouTube channel. Um, just search for Wilson Waffling or iWilsonWiseJ on YouTube. And you'll find all the episodes here. We're up to episode 85 of Wilson Waffling Live. Um, so go back and watch them all if you wish. And then hopefully 15 more because I do mathematics and I'll be at 100. Yeah, 100 episodes. And then I don't know what to do. I, I might stop then or I might try to build it up. The other thing that I will be really interested is, is that if you would like to join me on Wilson Waffling Live and what we'll do is that we'll get you on Skype and hopefully Skype you in. Skype you in so you can be stood so like over there, just sat over there on your camera and have a chat. And we can have a chat about something that either you want to talk about to do with educational issues or we can have a random topic or people can send you questions. You know, we might even get somebody famous on. How exciting would that be? Or if you have a certain passion that you would really like to do with drama or art or anything or science, then by all means, get in touch with me and come and join me on Wilson Waffling Live. It will be fantastic to have somebody with me for once rather than me just sat here all by myself. Anyway, thank you very much. I, I'm not by myself because I can see that there are some people on Facebook watching. So hopefully you have enjoyed this very short show. Um, it, oh, Remember, do come back. I do this show live every... There's keep being a flicker on my screen and I don't know what it is. I do this show live every Monday um, at 8 o'clock. So by all means, come back and see me sometime soon and that will be absolutely fantastic. Okay, guys, it only remains for me to say have fun. Have fun and I'll catch you all later. This has been Wilson Waffling Live. And episode 85, and I would like to say, have fun, and I'll catch you all later. And until then, consider yourself well and truly waffled. Have fun, guys. Bye.